The videos to this point have shown how you can summarize a field such as total spent by sums or averages when you place it in the values area of a pivot table. The current video illustrates how you can perform another very useful task, summarizing by counts, that is by the numbers of records in various categories. This is simple, but it is a fundamentally different concept than summarizing by sums or averages. When you summarize by sums or averages, you need a field, such as total spent, to summarize. However, when you summarize by counts, you aren't really summarizing any field. You are simply counting rows in the data set. I will again use the online purchases data set for illustration. I have already created a pivot table and I have broken it down by customer region in the rows area and customer gender in the columns area. But there isn't any field in the values area, at least not yet. Recall that there are 4,000 rows in this data set. The goal here is to count the number of these rows in each of the eight region gender categories. Of course, these counts should add to 4,000. The question is which field I should drag to the values area. The answer, which might surprise you, is that it doesn't matter. Any field will do. However, it helps to understand Excel's rules. If a numeric field is placed in the values area, it is automatically summarized by sums. I'll show this with a total spent field. But if a non-numeric value is placed in the values area, it is automatically summarized by counts. I'll illustrate this with the purchase day field. In this case, it is important to realize that the purchase day has nothing whatsoever to do with the counts. I get the same results, the same counts, if I place any other non-numeric field in the values area. In fact, I get the same results if I place total spent in the values area, right-click any number in the pivot table, and select count from the summarize by options. In short, if you summarize by count, it doesn't matter which field is in the values area. For this reason, when you summarize by count, the count label in the pivot table is misleading. It isn't really the count of total spent or of any other field. Therefore, it is a good idea to change this label to something more neutral, as I will do now. When you summarize by count, the raw counts are often not as meaningful as percentages. For example, the current pivot table shows that 971 of the purchases were made in the Midwest and 621 of these were made by females. You might prefer to see either of these expressed as a percentage of a total. This is easy to do. I will right click any count and display the show values as list. You can also get to this list in the Value Field Settings dialog box. Three of the options in this list are especially useful. Percentage of Grand Total, Percentage of Column Total, and Percentage of Row Total. I will try each of them. With the percentage of grand total option, the percentages in the body of the table add to 100%, as do the percentages in the grand total row and the grand total column. For example, 15.53% of all purchases were made by females in the Midwest, and 64.13% of all purchases were made by females. With the percent of column total option, the percentage in each column add to 100%. This option is useful if you want to focus on each gender separately. Then you can see that of all the female orders, 
the percentage made in the Midwest is 24.21%, whereas the similar percentage for mail orders is 24.39%. The percent of row total option is similar. Now the percentages in each row add to 100%. This is useful if you want to analyze the gender breakdown for each region separately. For this particular data set, this breakdown is virtually the same for each of the four regions. The show values as options provide several other possibilities. And you can experiment with them. And if you want to return to raw counts, you can choose the default no calculation option. None of these ways of displaying the counts is necessarily any better than any other. It all depends on the story you are trying to tell. In summary, the main key to remember from this video is that if you want to display counts, it makes absolutely no difference which field you place in the values area, so long as you summarize it by count.